Salutations everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today's tutorial is over this extremely glam, smoky, brown, black, warm, smoky eye. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> I love glitter so much and especially if you've been following my um, makeup account on Instagram, you've noticed that I've been uh, messing around with a whole ton of glitter. And I won't stop. Uh, no thank you. Um, I hope this isn't just a phase and that glitter's always gonna be, um, on me. Cause I can't stop. Literally can't stop. Like, every single look that I've done so far on my Instagram account has involved some form of glitter. For example, like from Star Crushed Minerals, from Glitter Injections. These are Glitter Injection glitters today. Um, yeah, so I'm a little obsessed right now. Oh, uh, yes to this. Yes to this. I, yes, yes. Oh, and let's talk about this lipstick as well. You all know Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. Um, I have majority of their lipsticks today, but I just rediscovered another one of my favorites. Matte Naked, number 61 from the Milani Matte, um, lipstick range. Um... I've used it quite a lot, but I've just kind of fallen back in love with it. So you guys should definitely check it out. This is beautiful in all skin tones. I use this exact color on so many of my brides from women of color to very fair to very tan. It's just gorgeous on everybody. Also, it's beautiful if you pair it with like a baby pink um, lip gloss to go on top of it to make it even more of a nudie but gloss lip. It's beautiful, especially with this deep dark brown sparkly smoky eye that I have going on. Alright everybody, if you would like to see how I achieve this beautiful, extremely beautiful glam eye, please keep on watching. Alright everybody, so I primed my eyes with my Sephora shadow stick in Secret Boudoir, then I went in with my Too Faced Natural Matte eyeshadow palette to set that with the color Heaven, just to prevent any skippage, any unevenness, just so it makes it easier to blend in any colors we put on top of it. For example, I'm going to be using the color Honey Butter, and I've been recently focusing, uh, like, crease colors mainly in the inner corner of my eye. I don't know why, I've just been really liking the way that it looks, but again, I put it all over the crease and a lot of blending, but I've just been really focusing it in the inner corner of my eye. Yes to the please. And I'm just making sure to blend to make sure that it's nice and soft and diffused. So whatever color we go in next, which is going to be strapless, it's going to be nice. And like I said, soft and diffused. And it's going to be nice and blended in with each other. I'm just going back and forth and adding and blending and adding. What's new? Am I right? <laughs> then I went in with this super cool Urban Decay Afterglow blush in the color Bane. And I went in the same motions from the inner corner, kind of sweeping whatever excess product I have left near the outer corner, which I have been doing with these three shadows so far. Then I'm going in with a Smashbox like twist up eyeliner, gel liner. I don't like the applicator, it's definitely the benefit there, real push up liner, but I like this cons consistency. Wow, I can't speak of this product more. And I'm just packing that on the lid. I'm not putting it past my crease and I'm not really going to blend out that black because I really want that full opacity of it. But I am going to go in with chocolate cookie and with kind of like a smaller pencil brush and just kind of soften it up a little bit. I don't want a super smoky like past my crease. I kind of want more of like the color strapless and honey butter to be the main focus in the crease. Then I just keep going back and forth and blending and going back and forth and blending and back and forth and blending. And there wasn't any footage that I showed you guys, but I am using my Makeup Geek Corrupt Black Eyeshadow just to help with building up the opacity. Then I went in with Honey Butter and Chocolate Cookie into my lower lash line just to smoke it out, make it all nice and cohesive. Really smoked it out with this one. And I just combined the two colors together 
And I'm going to corrupt right here for Makeup Geek as well, just to make it a little bit more stronger in its opacity. Then I also brought that down to my lower lash line to make all of it a 360, yes please. And then I'm going in with the Too Faced um, Glitter Glue. I love this stuff for glitter because it really keeps it in place. It's completely translucent, so you can see what I'm doing right here. And then putting it on top of a black shadow. And it does show up a little milky, but it doesn't alter the color throughout. And I'm using Chocolate Kiss, the glitter, um, from Glitter Injections. And I'm just packing that on. I'm not doing that on the whole lid. I'm looking at it now. I feel like I should have done it in the entire lid. Um, but I didn't, so, uh, yes. And then I'm just breeding that glitter glue and as well the glitter into my lower lash line. Fairly messily. Uh, messily? That's not even a word, but you're welcome. Um, I didn't want it to be super concentrated. kind of want it to be nice and diffused looking as well. Then I went in with my NYC liquid liner. Did a kind of lower cat eye than what I normally do and extended it out a bit. It just really helped with eye shape. I tight lined my upper waterline and lower waterline, and then I went in with my Kaplan D tattoo liner just to make that really nice thick point. It's kind of an Arabian eye, I guess you can say Arabian style of an eye that I'm doing right here. Um, but yeah, yes. And then I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Ice Queen for an inner corner highlight. Uh, gotta blend that in, girl. Watch, what are you doing, Gabby? And I'm going in with Lancome Hypnostrom for my mascara. I've been really loving this mascara lately. And then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Scarlet Number no. 8 Lashes. Uh, love these to death. And yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. Yes to literally everything that's happening on my face right now. Uh... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more material coming from me, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the support, the endless amount of support that you guys give me. I must be doing something right because I still have yet to receive negative um, feedback or comments or anything, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much. You guys are truly amazing, especially all the new followers that I've, um, or no, subscribers that I've received literally within the past five days. That's insane. And yeah, you guys, I will see you in my next video on Monday, which I don't know what it's going to be. Um, you guys should know this by now. <sighs> this eye, you guys. This I have to go out. I just have to show people this eye. I mean, I just can't just sit inside all day. <sighs> Don't want to get to your head, Gabby. You know, you know, you look good. You know, you look good. Okay. You know, you look good. I mean, my complexion looks good. My, it's soft. It's sculpted, but not too sculpted. The lip. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm